What's going on, YouTube? Still here. Uh, <laughs> I had to leave BC at home. I'm in Michigan this weekend for a wedding, and <laughs> I'm wearing these shoes. <laughs> Get into it. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and finish the part, the second part of uh, the series, uh, the newest uh, F-150 mods that I did to Beastie. Uh, I'm going to let you know this now. Um, Phoenix Automotive, I don't know if I'm completely satisfied with you. Um, I guess what I will do is I'll probably give a six-month review. Um, it may grow on me. You never know. Um, anyway, let's get into this video. It's a lot of content, so I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. Um, and this, uh, I'm actually in a hotel room. Let's see if I can show you the type of uh, can, you, can it focus in on that? Uh, let me, what if I do it from this angle? Yeah, you're stuck. Uh, maybe I'll throw a little highlights in here of Michigan. Um, <laughs> you know I love it. The Ford Motor Company. <laughs> All right, I'll get into it later. All right, so this is the last time you're going to see that small screen again. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and uh, install a new unit. So I just figured uh, this is a uh, moment. Let's have us a moment right here okay enough of that all right so uh for those of you out that saw my uh video when i painted this uh there are i believe two seven millimeter screws to pull this up so i'm gonna pull this up and pull this off may even pull these out to get to all of this i know for a fact that uh, I'm going to take this off to include the CD player and the air conditioning unit. So all of this is getting ready to go bye-bye. I'm going to miss these uh, nice orange accents. They, they, they did their thing. I liked them. So um, maybe when I finish installing this, maybe we can keep some of these, but uh, we'll see. All right, there it is. Uh, now on the F-150, it's two seven millimeters right there. And then the rest is just connection tabs. Pull it off and it's done. So uh, the next thing will be um, taking out these seven millimeter bolts it's three on each side then it's also three on this side and three on that side so i'll get at you fyi at this point i'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery because i am going to um have to wire in the wireless camera uh, while I install this. So, uh, this is the point where all power will be cut off from Beastie. I'm going to put him to sleep. He's going under. Hashtag size does matter. This was a small screen. psych i'm not tossing that but hey somebody needs it make me an offer so we're moving along here uh, as you can see 
Uh, now I have to go for the CD player. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So on my station, I believe in keeping it real. And in my transparency, I would like to say this. If ever you decide to do an upgrade, and even if you're talking about your stereo system, your media console, whatever, before you dive deeply into it, make sure you grab your CD out of your CD player. I really never use it and I completely forgot that I had one in there. Yeah. That sucks. But the show must go on. As you can see, that is darn near butt naked. Going on to the next phase. While I'm putting the video together, oh, is that a hair one? Uh, I need to stress to you that while you install the Phoenix Automotive 12.1 um, Android into your F-150, first of all, when you buy it, they're gonna ask you a series of questions. Uh, but for this in particular install, I did not need to uninstall the CD player. The CD player remains, however, you can no longer use it because the screen takes over the whole uh, face of the CD player. It is solely a connection point for your um, media station, i.e. all your wires uh, are still going to be connected to it, uh, stuff like that. So it is solely for the purpose of wiring that it stays in there. It's going to be completely inactive because the face is so big, you cannot get in and out to it. Now, if you granted, if you took the face off, I'm pretty sure you could still use the CD player and then put it back on, but who would do that? But nonetheless, it does stay in its place. All right, so what I need to do this, by the way, is the old media bezel. What I have to do is I have to remove all these bolts and take out the air conditioned portion of the bezel. So um, as you can see here, I am uh, meticulously working and unscrewing all these bolts. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of speed up the process and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in the next segment. So stay tuned. So once you take the cover off, you also have to remove the motherboard and put it onto the new screen. So that's what I'm doing now. I have to say this. If you notice, I am being very delicate around this because these ribbons are on there and it doesn't take much to break them. So you must be very careful while doing this. This is not for those with shaky fingers.
Let's have a steady hand. All right. Two top portions of the motherboard signified by the arrows. What we're gonna do is attach them by the ribbons and we won't be using them. Okay, so the wiring, <laughs> apparently I was frustrated. I thought I pushed record and I didn't. Um, I have no words. Um, was it in essence a plug and play? Uh, yes. Theoretically. The only part that I actually had to do some actual wiring was, uh, when I added the rear view camera. Uh, of course, you can see that in my previous video where I actually wired the um, rear view camera for a power source into the uh, lighter but in essence it yes it was technically a plug and play um, so I am going to go ahead and do this here is the before and the after It looks nice. Yes, it does. All right, as always, I am Stu Beastie. He's the reason why I'm here, Beastie Chronicles. Uh, please, if you have a modification or you just would like to know how to simply do a job, um, leave it in the comment section. Um, Tell somebody about me. Beastie Chronicles, that is the name. Beastie Chronicles is about me and a truck named Beastie. Get at me, y'all. Love y'all. Nothing you can do about it. I'll...